Marco Hitola. This is a man whose prowess has captivated me since coming to know of his existence. The power metal turned doomish stomp of Tarot, the infectious contrast he contributes to the operatic Nightwish, his immediately recognizable presence in the Northern Kings, his stunning interpretation of Ronnie James Dio era Black Sabbath with Zapata Vuzi, as well as various guest spots during his career have built to something I see as nothing short of monumental. At the center of it all stands his voice. Gritty and aggressive, yet melodic to a fault. Had I ever pursued proper vocal training, I would aspire to sing like this man. Enter Pyre of the Black Heart, a sort of re-recording of Hitler's first solo album from 2019. This version, released on Nuclear Blast Records in January 2020, features the album being sung with English lyrics. Now, considering his pedigree with his primary bands Tarot and Nightwish, it's hard not to find those similarities. Tracks such as Stones and Dead God's Son utilize elements that could place it with latter-day Tarot material. While Star, Sand, and Shadow bears some semblance to the Nightwish catalog. Much of what makes the album unique are the nuances to Hitler's singing and approach to songwriting, offering a more vulnerable side to his voice that is not often utilized under the umbrella of his other works. Songs like Voice of My Father and I Dream exude more emotion than much of what we've heard prior, with soft, soothing singing and ever more liberal exploitation of his vibrato. Voice of my father. music itself does take on the aforementioned similarities, it too bears its own form. Overall, the material here is easily approachable, lacking any significant symphonic, operatic, or power metal tendencies, though indulging in a more traditional direction, with more comparisons to progressive metal than anything else. The downside to the album? Well, I mean, there's nothing really I can nail down. There is nothing particularly groundbreaking about the album, and I wouldn't say it's an overwhelming win, but it is exactly what it needs to be. It's a musical outlet for a man who's obviously had a lot more to offer than what he already has. It will satisfy fans of Hitler's voice, but may overall be too soft and too varied to be wholly enjoyed by those into the heavier side of his past efforts. If I were to rate this album on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it an 8. It's enough in line with his previous exploits to offer familiarity, but varied enough to be surprising at times. I had hoped it would have provided a good holdover until the next project he approached, but the following Nightwish album failed to impress me, and Heathla coincidentally announced his retirement from Nightwish and Public Life as I wrote this review. No, Salty. We allow this all the respect in the world to the man and his decision. In the meantime, I'll catch up on some reading. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, follow us on social media, yada yada yada, you know the drill. Just shut up.